<laughs> Hi, self-compassion discussion group. It's Amy here. So on Mondays, you've probably noticed we have wanted to offer you some practice invitations to help you start or deepen your mindfulness and self-compassion practice. And it's called a practice for a reason. We want self-compassion to be intentional and practiced so that when we need it the most, it's easily accessible. So in the last two weeks, we've explored creating a formal space for your practice and a time for our formal practice. And today I want to invite you to explore finding a community to practice with. Our discussion group here on Facebook is a great place to explore common humanity and discuss what's coming up for us as we travel along our journey of self-compassion. And we've heard your desire for a place to practice in community. And so I think we all agree that learning a new skill can be hard. And when we have the support and accountability of a group, or partner along the way, it really helps to sustain our commitment. So today it's my pleasure to speak with Layla Narsi, who is the co-coordinator of the CMSC Circle of Practice Public Offering, and also the CMSC Coordinator of Retreats. So she's gonna share with us some ways to find community in your practice. And, and Layla, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks, Amy, for having me. And I am so excited about how this group has taken off. Wow, what a great place to practice in community virtually. Yes, I love it. It really does go to show just the, I think the thirst out there for people who mm. are, are, are needing this practice and wanting to find others who, who kind of share that commitment. And it's been wonderful just watching this grow. So I'm so excited because yeah. I, we've had a lot of people reach out and want to know how can I practice this together in community. And so your um, programs are so, <laughs> so perfect for that. So I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about the Center for Mindful Self-Compassion Circle of Practice. Absolutely, absolutely. So actually, the Circles of Practice um, graduate study started many years ago. And this was a place to practice virtually for those that finished the MSc program. However, a couple of years ago, with the start of the pandemic, mm -hmm. um, there was such a need, right? People were so isolated, and, and so many still are. Um, so our co-developer, Dr. Chris Germer said, hey, why don't we offer this for everybody, not just the graduates of the MSc program? So that's kind of how this started. So we are not the graduate studies, we are the public offering. And so we meet three times a day, every single day, rain or shine. And it's just a beautiful place for you to be whoever you are a beautiful place to come together in whatever corner of the world you may be. So we actually have participants from up to 45 different countries who stop by. So some of the sessions have maybe 50 participants and some of them may have 200 participants. Wow. Each is so different. Um, each session is led by a certified mindful self-compassion teacher. And not just certified, they often have experience in so many other aspects of mindfulness and self-compassion. And they themselves have so much passion for coming together and making this offering. Um, but I tell you, this virtual community has really started to feel like home for so many people. Um, so as I mentioned, we started with so much isolation and lockdown with the COVID-19 pandemic. So often people, you know, didn't get to see their loved ones. They didn't get to see their neighbors. So this became this beautiful virtual community to drop in. And at first, you know, it was more of, hi. And then it became this closeness, you know, it's like you can hold each other. And now when you attend one of the sessions, there is such a warmth. It doesn't feel like 45 countries, but it feels like sitting in a sangha in a virtual room um, with your closest friends, yeah. whether you know them by name or not. <laughs> right. 
I, I had the privilege of leading a few of these practices early on in like the pandemic. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I just felt it, it was such a beautiful opportunity for people to come back and come in that, you know, they do, they get to know each other, they recognize each <laughs> other, that, uh, you know, one of my favorite parts was the end of the practice where everybody unmutes and turns <laughs> on their cameras and just says hello and, and just yeah. finds that connection. It's really amazing. Oh, yeah, yes. You, you can feel that, that high energy, even though it's virtual. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about how you get connected with this community and, and maybe the mm -hmm. times that it's offered and. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we really try to um, have timings that could, you know, be offered for each side of the globe and all around. So we offer them 5 a.m., 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Pacific time. So this way, the 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., often we have people from Europe, sometimes Asia. Um, in the PMs, we often have uh, US, Canada, the Americas, you know, Central and South, Australia, Asia. So we are really trying to get um, all aspects here, yeah. I love that. And you're also offering some particular groups um, that you're calling affinity groups. Do you want to speak to that? I would love to. Yeah. So, you know, even though these groups are general and anyone from any walk of life can attend, we also recognize the, the intimacy that is often needed for specialty groups and the needed for added safety. So we have two affinity groups. We have the BIPOC affinity group, which is um, especially for those people that identify uh, as color. So it's black indigenous person of color. Once again, it's also a global um, session. It's once a month, the first Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. Pacific. And so however you may identify yourself, whatever language and background, you can come together, feel safe. And it's also led by BIPOC teacher and only BIPOC friendly, um, no allies. And then the second affinity group we have every single week is the LGBTQIS+, and that's Mondays at 6 a.m. Pacific. And once again, all those that identify in the group, but no allies. And it's also led by a certified teacher that identifies as LGBTQIS+. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's such a great resource. And all of this is free? All of this is absolutely free, no strings attached. Um, this is really a time to come together and just feel like you can let go. So there's no marketing or selling anything. It's just coming together in peace. And practice. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So we're going to put the link to um, sign up. And I think once you've signed up, you're signed up, right? You don't have to sign up every time you go or how does that process? Work? Actually, you do. Yeah, if you want okay. to. So yeah, you can choose. So when you go to our website, you can choose which time slot, which day of the week you'd like to attend. And you can either sign up multiple times right then and there, or you can pick and choose, come as you would like. Mm -hmm. And then once you're signed up, you'll get a confirmation email with the Zoom link. And then we have just some basic guidelines of what to expect, what not to expect, and so forth. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and, you know, I also want to share that um, since we started a couple of years ago, we've started offering some mini retreats as well. Um, in fact, I just got done hosting one with Dr. Kristen Neff last Saturday. So today is International Women's Day. And so this retreat was um, in celebration of women everywhere. So we had a three hour silent retreat. And we do this kind of throughout the year. We look at different topics and situations going on in life, and we offer free silent retreats for anyone to attend. Um, so that's also been really nice. Uh, another way to practice in community. Yes, I love that. Yeah, for those of you who have 
maybe never experienced a silent retreat, this is a wonderful way to kind of dip your toes in that experience with our the ability to do that virtually in the comfort of your own home. Um, I would really encourage that. That's an amazing offering too. Yeah. Uh, so anything else as we're as if you want to share with our community, um, we're just inviting everyone to to find find a place to practice, find a time to practice, mm -hmm. set yourself up for being supported well. I know the Center for MSC has so many things to do that. And anything else you'd like to share before we sign off? Oh, absolutely. Um, so as you mentioned earlier, I'm also the coordinator for silent retreats. So if you have dipped your foot into these daily practices and you want a little bit more, um, I welcome you to sign up for a five-day silent retreat. Um, so we are also catering to people from all over the globe. So we have um, three different time zones available for silent retreats. In fact, in just two weeks, on March 22nd, we have one that's geared more towards UK, Europe, um, Africa, and Middle East. And so this is a, an opportunity for you to really deeply dive from the comfort of your own home. So they are virtual retreats. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have one that's geared for North America later in the summer. And in the fall, we'll have one that's geared for Australia and Asia. So where, whatever your time zone, if you're ready to go inwards and go a little deeper, um, this is a great opportunity to do that. And once again, another opportunity for virtual community. Yes. Oh, wonderful. So we're going to definitely invite you, Layla, to continue to let us know um, when these things are coming up. We'll be posting them um, for this community. We'll have all the links of everything that we talked about today in the post um, below or above, wherever that goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, we, when we air this, um, and we'll continue to do that, you know, as we as we have more offerings, because I know it's just it's such an important part of our practice is to kind of build community and find that common humanity. And I just know it's so supportive. And um, if you don't have somebody to practice with or that, that group, you know, I just encourage you to take that step and reach out and. Um, you know, just try these, these, especially the circle of practices, you know, it's kind of a, a large group in there. You can, you can be a little anonymous if you'd like to just try that out and then, you know, just see how that feels to be. Yeah. And out. absolutely anonymous. Yeah. You know, we, we also give permission to people to stay off camera or on. Mm -hmm. um, but I do tell you, you know, regardless of the size of the group, it does start to feel like one small family when wow. you've attended. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so great. Great feeling. Oh, yes. So if you have any questions too, um, Layla's available. We'll have her contact information as well. Um, if you have any difficulty signing up or, you know, questions about the group, um, we'll put that in there as well. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, yes. With You're community. welcome. Um, I know that there's many people that are going to want to take advantage of, of those offerings. All righty. Well, uh, you, um, thank you for having me. You're so welcome. We'll have you back again as as we get more more opportunity for practice. So sounds great. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.